Welcome to the Smart Business Show, episode 147 for December 15th, 2017. We're getting close to wrapping up the year, which is cool. And at the same time, maybe a little scary. I think sometimes when you look back at all things you may have done or may have not done, it can be interesting to see and what you did. Was it worthwhile? Was it a good year? Uh, is next year going to be better? How is it going to be better is the question. So there's a few things we're gonna update on. So for scoring my 12 week year, I still don't score it. Um, and actually the question uh, last week was asked by Think Share, and there's a link to their YouTube channel in the show notes. If you're interested in uh, checking them out and they share uh, stuff around success and a lot of similar stuff to my, to my content. So go check that out. It's good, I watched a few of the videos. Um, so I just finished a book called The Success Grower, which is written by my friend Mark Shinerer. I'm going to say it like that. <laughs> and uh, it's good. It's very similar to uh, something like Patrick Lencioni would write, where there's a story throughout, in this case, a story about a guy breaking down and farming and bringing it into, um, into your success. So it's really good. Uh, I quite enjoyed it. Uh, one of the two of the dialogue parts felt a little rough around the edges, but uh, ultimately it was, a, it was a good book and I would recommend reading it. There's lots of solid principles and I like how he's tied them all together in the order that he does them and how he uses the examples of, of the farming to show you uh, how they apply to different things. It's really good. So I'm going to read you a, que or a question, a quote um, out of element one, which is called fertile soil, fertile mind. And it says, like the soil, the mind has limitless potential for ever-increasing productivity. Care and, new, care and nurturing are required. It must be fed new knowledge, insights, in order for it to grow. If it is neglected and left to its own desires, it becomes a wasteland and produces very little of worth, which some call mediocrity. So one of... <laughs> One of the big things in this, and one of the big things I, I clearly try to do, is I've, you know, going to eclipse about 80 books read this year, and probably close to 50 of them, um, say success related or personal improvement related, um, is continuing to, to really test out that mind, to really dig in and, and figure out how, how I continue to make my mind fertile. Some uh, post you'll see, I believe it's next Monday, so that would be December 18th, is all about how to make good decisions. And the one crucial skill that you need for freelancers is the title of it, but really you need it for everything. It's not uh, typing fast or anything like that. It's not code, it's not design, it's nothing like that. It's uh, making critical decisions. So I talk a lot about that on Monday, uh, 2,000, more than 2,000 words on how to make good decisions, how to train your brain to make good decisions. It's the same idea that Mark was talking about in The Success Grower. And that you need to, and if you're watching this, listening to this, uh, you are someone who wants to have a fertile mind, who wants to grow their mind, and who wants to be better at whatever it is they do all the time. So, and stick at it and, and be intentional about it. What are the one or two areas that you need to really work on for next year? That you need to dig into areas that you're weak in your business or in your life. What are they? And make a plan on how you're going to accomplish that, right? Look through and look through some of the books that I have and decide what and what's going to be the best for you. Something I'll start in 2017 is actually like a list of, uh, of books recommended for. So if you're, if you're struggling with marketing, here's the four or five books that I recommend. Or if you're, I have the book categories over here on my other screen, so let's bring them up. So some of my ideas are negotiation, proposal, sales, marketing, and freelance primers, focus, task management, deciding priority, and there's a whole stack more. That's just the first few, managing teams, project management. So I'll be putting some of those out next year. So I have to decide the format of them. And I'll be starting with the ones that I've read more extensively on like focus and task management, stuff like that. Uh, and then diving into some of the other ones that I'd love to dig into eventually, like identity politics, which I was listening to uh, this morning, which is something I feel very out of my depth on and something I'd love to dig into more. So for next year, and now is the time to even start thinking about it, make that plan. What will you be doing next year? What will you be doing in your first quarter, in your first 12 weeks? What are the actions you need to take to continue to expand your mind and make sure that you have fertile soil? Thanks for watching. If you have a chance now, if you're on YouTube, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you're listening to this on iTunes or whatever your podcast system is, love a review, love a share, anything like that. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome week.